I want to show you how you can create your own custom GPT for your website that can manage your customer service and give real-time customer support, uh, basically powered by artificial intelligence. Now, this is how you can do this in under a day. You can do this in about an hour. Uh, it will basically have all the information from your website. You can embed it into your website. It can answer users' questions. You can gather support tickets, a whole host of things. Uh, so let me just walk you through how we're going to set this up. The idea here is we're creating a central database, a central brain for our business. And we're gathering all the information from uh, our website, our FAQs. Maybe we've got video tutorials. Uh, we can take the transcripts from those. And we're just going to keep on tacking and adding things onto this central brain. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take that information and we're going to build a chatbot. And that chatbot can now do all sorts of things like respond to our customers' questions. Uh, but more importantly, it will do it in real time. So now you no longer have to sort of deal with FAQs on your website. You no longer have to have a customer support agent just by basically copying and pasting responses uh, into emails. And they can just uh, basically you can fire them and you can just do all of this using this chatbot. Uh, it's incredibly easy to do. So what do we need to get this set up? Well, obviously, the first thing we need is obviously a business or a website. Uh, we can this is just so we can embed it into the website if not you can always just use this internally but you can scrape your entire website to build this chatbot then what we're going to do is we're going to head to uh, the top link in the description which is going to take you to chat iq which is basically the, the tool that we're going to be using to build this uh, you can see we can build custom chatbots we can gather support tickets uh, we can also prioritize those support tickets so you can see here it'll basically take all of those support tickets and it will compare them to your company data and tell you which ones are important which ones aren't important uh, and then you can automatically respond to them within uh, the app. So yeah, that's the tool we're going to be using. It's the top link down below. Like I say, this is my software, just full disclosure. Uh, you, can, you can start a free trial, so you get two weeks to try this for free. Um, and this is what it's going to look like, right? So we can build a chatbot. Let me just refresh the page. So we can build a chatbot uh, designed for our own company, right? So for example here, this is the chat IQ logo. Uh, I, I can change all the text, all the visible text that you can see here. You can update everything. You can change the colors and brand it out to whatever it is that you want. You can add custom instructions just like you would with a normal GPT. But the really cool thing is you can uh, embed it into your website and you can pick and choose what data you want to upload. And unlike custom GPT, uh, you can actually upload uh, up to a million words of data. So you can see here, I've got 24 bits of data in my account, 87,000 words. Uh, I can upload up to a million words on the plan that I'm on. Uh, so it starts, pricing starts at $30 a month you can use this for. Um, and like you can see here, I've scraped my entire website. You can scrape your entire website. You can tag your data so you can put it into different folders, basically. Uh, and the different folders is a really cool way to organize your data. So we can actually build multiple chatbots, right? So instead of having it like this, uh, what we can do is we can take this data here, all this blue data, and say, look, let's build a chatbot from this one. Uh, and then what we can do is we can build another chatbot from this stuff, right? So say, for example, that this is our website data. Uh, this is a front-facing, customer-facing chatbot that can answer questions about you know, delivery times, discounts, and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, it has access to the support to, um, email address. It has access to important links, like if you want to give tracking links to your customers, uh, it can it can do all of that. And then you can have like an internal tool, like this one here. If I want to cancel my subscription, uh, I can train this on. Uh, if I've got documentation for my product or I've got a course, I can get all the transcripts and I can chain a chatbot on that, and I can embed this into my course. So people can actually ask the question in there as well uh, and it can also manage the customer service in that and the way this works is literally just by picking and choosing the data that you want uh, and you can say like I'm going to choose these five bits of data I'm going to build a chatbot we'll call this one uh, the external one give it a greeting introduction message uh, and it's only going to reference the files that I've chosen right so as a visual diagram of this right these these things here are the, the visual representation of these files that we're adding to this chatbot. Uh, once we've built the chatbot, we can we can you know update it later. We can add or remove data if we want to. So you can see here, this is the chatbot on my website that's using all of this data. Uh, but if I want to, I can now add more information from uh, from my knowledge base. For example, you see here, like add the FAQ and the interface walkthrough. Uh, and now if I come to here at the bottom, you can see we've now got the FAQ and the interface walkthrough. So now uh, as my data changes and as things change in my business, I can update what the chatbot can do. So I want to give you a quick walkthrough of how this works. Uh, I've set mine up so it's got these custom questions, uh, prompt questions at the start. So we're going to ask it, for example, uh, what is chat IQ? And it's going to go ahead and it's going to read 
all of that data and it's going to respond to me uh, by reading all of that data with the most relevant information right uh, and you can see it does it in a matter of seconds uh, it does it incredibly quickly in fact we're probably one of the fastest chatbots out there uh, and the way it does this is by caching the responses so if you don't like a response uh, we can actually edit this response so now in the future the chatbot will use a different response so let's do uh, instead of what is chat IQ if we do uh, why should I use chat IQ uh, this is quite a similar question to the first one, but I may want to give it a slightly different response. So you can see here, we've actually uh, created this response uh, and actually I've crafted this by adjusting the response a little bit more. But now if I ask a similar question, for example, I've asked what is the purpose of chat IQ? What it's going to do is determine the similarity in this question to this question. If they're very, very close, it's going to use uh, this response. Uh, if it's not, it's going to completely draft as a completely new response. Uh, so now what's going to happen is over time, the more you ask questions, the more questions that people ask your chatbot, the more it learns, the quicker it's going to get at responding, the more it's going to learn from your business. So it's basically learning over time. Uh, so now you can see the purpose of chat IQ is to facilitate the creation of management of conversational chatbots, right? You can see that it's tailored the response to the specific question. Now, if I had made these questions closer, it probably would have used this previously cached response. So let's say, for example, we've got this built now. We want to add it to our website, right? We want to add it as a little uh, chatbot icon down here on our website. It's incredibly easy to do. All we do is come over to the launch section and we copy this code here. Once we've copied this code here, we can just paste it into the head code of our website. Now, the interesting thing here is you may decide, right, that you don't want to have this little icon. You want to change this for your own logo. Uh, and you can do that really easily just by coming into here and updating the logo, uh, coming back to launch and recopying and re-uploading this code. So like I say, if you want to get started with this, the website is called chatiq.ai and you can basically manage your customer support in real time uh, using this software. And I will leave the link down below in the description.